Okay, so I'm back with Fine Beloved Die trying as we're about to get ready for the last date. What do you know, T? You actually made it to the last one on one date. See, that's weird. They specified one on one date. Does that mean there's going to be other dates besides one on one dates? Like a group date or something? How are you feeling? Pretty good. Honestly, pretty good. I'm excited to see how a day with Allie will be. Probably crazy if I had to guess. Oh, you've got a real surprise in store. She has all of us in the crew working extra hard to prepare a special date for you. And by all of us in the crew, I mean the Brothers Five. As of just them. How about you go find her, spend some time together while we set things up for you. Sounds like a plan, Cat. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. Guess that's where I'm headed. Don't do anything we can't air. Yeah, see, I thought it was one that could go through three dates with each of them. Murder is okay, but God forbid someone takes their top off. Yeah, that's weird. How would murder be allowed but not topless? I don't know, it doesn't matter to me. I waved the cat as I went on my way. I can't put either on YouTube anyway. Just as Cat said, Allie was by the beach. She was looking out at the ocean. Morning, Allie. One second here. Before I continue. Okay. T, it's always nice to see you. To see you. I don't know why I said you. Yeah. The difference between Allie's voice during the day and night was like day and night. I guess we do have to worry about the cameras, but still. It takes time getting used to. I know it's going to be tough to top your previous dates with all the other girls, but I think I have a good shot. You probably have the best to top it of any of them. I'm looking forward to it, Allie. You better be. We've been saving the best for last. Me? She reached for my hand. Oh no, she meant her. Walk with me? Of course. I reached for her outstretched hand. It'd be my pleasure. The two of us walked around the beach for a while, getting to know each other. So, what will you be doing when this show's over? First thing I'm going to do is say hey to my family again, and make them a nice dinner. I'm sure that they've gone sick with worry in the week since I've been gone. I wonder what they are thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. Cat was right. Sometimes not remembering is a blessing. Allie doesn't have that luxury. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Come on. What's the surprise? Oh, we're back in the woods. She pulled me along by the hand into the forest. I have to say, Allie's really impressed me. Of course, it was her deliberate plan to come into the forest and get to the hangar, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going to love. What's happening? It? I saw it the same moment she did. It was all we could do. It was all we could do was stand to watch. Which in the video was all we could do to stand to watch. I don't know. No. She staggered and then this fell. And who could blame her? What happened? Oh, the hangar's on fire. The hangar was engulfed in roaring flames. The heat was incredible. There was no way either of us could take another step towards the hangar without being burned alive. This is an interesting uh, CG and the art looks good, especially the fire. Like they got it accurate looking. The such a burning oil sold to me without mercy. I'd get away from that plane before it explodes. We were at a loss for words. Doesn't that sound like a little like gas and whatnot? And this? And in front of all those flames was her, walking away from the flames. Somehow I just know it was her. Sorry, Allie. T. There's been a small change of plans. I'm sure you can tell, but we've hit a few snags with the hangar. You did this on purpose. How about you two spend your day on the ground instead? I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my body. I don't attack her, that'll just ruin things. I can't do anything, but I can't. I can't, or I'll be killed. And not just me, but everyone else. To hold myself back from getting away with this plane meant to me took all the strength I had. I need to calm down. Cat might be able to read my face and see that. Sounds fine to me, Cat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we can do about that. How about we go somewhere else, T? She reached for my hand and held it tight. How could she smile like this at me? Hmm. Of course, Allie. Yeah, don't give, uh... Cat what she wants. For the rest of the day, Allie and I put on the performance of a lifetime. Oh? Cat CG again? There were faces were all smiles and laughter. We knew, now more than ever, that we were trapped in Cat's macabre pub 
puppet show. Macabre, macabre, and Cat looked to make a stance. She must have known we were trying to escape, but how? Yeah, I don't know how. Did the Brother Four turn us in? Did we make a mistake? Maybe. Did Four give us away? I had the same thought. Should we have ever trusted him in the first place? Eh, probably not. Who can I trust now? Time is ticking, and the end of the show looms closer and closer. It's time. I'm supposed to meet with the group. But what would we even do? One second. Okay, so it was Macabre, I think, was the pronunciation. Anyway, it's time I'm supposed to meet with the group, but what would we even do? There's no way we can escape. Our last chance died with the hangar. Don't give up. Should I just make a break for it? That's probably not going to work. No, I'd never make it, and the others would suffer for my mistake. Yeah, you don't want them killed because of you. What do I do? You don't look so good, T. I've been better. I've been better, Cat. It hasn't exactly been sunshine or rainbows today. You really aren't much for acting, are you, T? What are you talking about? Look, I already know about you and your plan to escape. Huh? My blood ran cold. You know, take the plane, fly away from here. It wasn't hard to figure out. I tried to say something in my defense, but my voice wouldn't come out. It was all I could do to stand wide-eyed. I know you and the others found the lab, got your memories back. Well, at least the others did. And I know that every night, you all work together to try to find a way out. I mean, of course I'd know. How? I'm the reason why you got this far. What do you mean? Just follow me. You'll save all of us time. We walked to the locked room near the games room. She took out her master key and spun it around. You never really thought a bunny could take a key from me, right? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. So how did... So she just gave the key on purpose? She opened the door. Oh, they're here. The others were inside, looking as surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. How about two? First, your inside man was never four. It was me. What? I mean, come on, you wouldn't be smart enough for something like this. I did call him brain dead. Second, no one ever had a chance at escaping this island because of me. Newsflash, Allie. Those tanks never just bug out. You're the one who let me out of my tank? The one and only. Allie was at a loss for words, and I was no different. What do you want, Cat? Honestly, the same thing as you guys. I want off this crazy train. I want out. I want you guys to include me in your little escape plan. How? What? Do I have something on my face? As hard as it is to believe, the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Hell no. We can't trust you. I... I'm not sure how, but I remember. I remember that I tried to escape with you before. I trusted you. I even fell for you. Even five girls is enough. Unbelievable. And then you betrayed me and shot me. There's no way we could ever trust you. You're just going to stab us in the back. Is that true, Cat? I'm ashamed to say it is. But I didn't have a choice. I don't know if I trust that. You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. He'll take the people you love hostage and use them to force you to dance to his tune. I'm sorry I betrayed you, T. I really am. But if I had to do it again, I'd do it again in a heartbeat, because there was someone I needed to save. I know I must look like the villain to you, but believe me, I have people I care about too. If you're so compassionate, how can you burn up our only way out of here? You're lucky I did, T. If you'd actually flown this plan, you'd all be at the bottom of the ocean right now. What do you mean? It's a cruel trick of Damien's. He knew there was a chance that people on this show would recover their memories and try to escape. So he made us build the hangar and the plane. It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. Exactly. I've told you in the past, Allie. Never fly that plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. If you did, you'd have blown up like fireworks. That Allie and I were in the plane, which was little more than a fine death trap, 
sent a chill down my spine. Look, the simple reality is you need me to escape. Without me, you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. And though I hate it, I need you guys to help me and my... Us escape. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Though who would Cat have to say that she betrayed us? Because of Damien, I can't think of it. Anyway, allies? Let's discuss first. Cat leaned against the wall while the rest of us debated what to do. Can we really trust her? This might just be another trap. It's not likely to be the first by her you fall into, T. You're right. It seems like it's genuine, I guess. That, but that's just me guessing because we're getting close to the end of the game time-wise. That said, it's not like we have much to lose at this point. Even if she'd done terrible things to us in the past, we still need her to escape. Hmm. You alright, Allie? I'm fine, I'm just angry at myself. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it. We're still alive, that's what counts. She's right, you know. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now, either, but we're alive. That counts for something. You're right, T. And as much as I hate to say it, I think we'll need Kat's help, trustworthy or not, if we want to stay that way. Uh, but we'll need to keep an eye on her. We have to tr But we'll need to keep an eye on her. But we'll need to keep an eye on her. I couldn't say it better myself. Alright, Kat, if you want our help, you're going to need to answer a few questions. Ask away. What the hell is this sick show for? And why have you been forcing us to repeat it over and over? As someone from the Resistance, it should be obvious to you. This is just one of hundreds of killing shows we air. Shows that keep people scared, that keep people from organizing against the government. You want to paralyze people with fear? You broadcast exactly what will happen to you if you rise up. You're monsters, you know that? I don't disagree with you, but we're not in charge here. Some of us still have family to lose, Allie. Continue. Before we air each show, we test them internally on test audiences to see what kind of ratings they bring for the fortunate and what kind of despair they bring for the less fortunate. If they tested well enough, we'd air it, but it wasn't efficient. But we couldn't just film a killing show over and over again to see which version of it rated the best. You can't bring people back from the dead. It was the same for the test audiences. You couldn't just make them watch multiple versions of a show as they'd remember previous versions that would influence their opinions. There was no way to test multiple versions of a show without losing the feeling that lives were really in danger. But my, the memory rewriter would have changed that. It did. We were able to reuse everybody, our volunteer actors, the test audiences. Since we could just make people forget what happened, we could film run after run of the show, where each was as if it were the first time to all of you. And that's exactly what we've been doing here for the last two years. It was a lot to hear. I had a feeling, but to know that people looked at us like we were nothing but lab rats, while I genuinely was afraid for my life, it's sickening. We were silent for a while. If you've been testing the show this long, when's the real thing? There is no real thing. It's only what version tests the best. That said, there's only so much time Damien is willing to spend on this show, and that time is almost up. This is the last run of the show. If you don't escape before the end, you're all as good as dead. I know Damien if I've said that we'd let you and your chosen partner go if you keep good enough ratings, but it's a lie, isn't it? Yeah. So we were never going to escape. I'm sorry. I've waited this long to try to help you guys. I've been too scared to risk it all, but I have nothing left to lose now. She extended her hand to me for a handshake. Allies? At least, till we're out of here? I don't really have a choice this time either, huh? If he wanted to, he would report us right now. That's true, and my word would count for more than all of yours. But that wouldn't save the person I need to. Like it or not, we have to work together. Then it's a deal. Allie shook Cat's hand. Cat, are you sure you don't want to? I'm fine, Scarlet. It's not important anymore, and we don't have any time to waste. If you say so. Anyway... The only time we can escape is the last day of the show, between midnight and just before the sun goes up. So we've got like five, six hours? 
that's when the boat comes to welcome the newly engaged couple, and that's the only way off this island. Assuming they're in the summer anyway, that's five, six hours, if it's like the winter, it can be like seven, eight. It also doubles the supply ship, we use it to replenish between each run of the show. But it seems like summer, so... Are there no other plans on this island? A boat would be far slower. Unfortunately, it's not so easy. There's a protective shell around the island, which performs two functions. First, it renders us invisible to satellite. It's the reason why your people couldn't find us, Allie. Second, if anything bigger than a human being tries to get in or outside of the barrier, it'll get fried, unless it's emitting a compatible IFF signal. I don't know what IFF is. The only way off the island will, that will have that, that signal is the boat. I'm betting it will be heavily guarded. Well, yes, but not from people on it. The ship itself will be run by a skeleton crew. It's the staff on the island who we'll have to watch out for. That still leaves the question of how we'll deal with them. Last time I checked, there's hundreds of them, and not even ten of us. Actually, it might not be so hard after all. I've got a plan that just might work. Though, I have to admit, it's a little crazy. I like the sound of that. If it involves zombies again, I'm out. You explained your plan to us with a renewed confidence that could inspire anyone to believe. Luckily, we still have tomorrow, so we just have just the amount of time we need. This just might work, Huey. You're a mad genius. It's crazy as I'd imagined, and crazy enough to work. Let's get to work. Wait, were we even listening to the same plan? The others went their separate ways to help prepare for Violet's plan. Wait, did it skip Violet's plan? Uh... I don't think it did. Uh, wait, oh yeah, that was just a plan. But Cat stayed, our business wasn't finished just yet. What's up? How am I supposed to trust you, or what's your game? What's your game? Or how am I supposed to trust you? Yeah, how am I supposed to trust you? I want to trust you, Cat, I really do. But you've burned me before. How could I ever trust you now? That's fair. The only thing I can say to try to make you trust me is that we both have people we care about, T. And that if you don't escape, then the person I care about will go down with you. I'm not asking for you to put your neck out for me. You'll never have to. I'm asking for you to help somebody that you've never met, and you never will. Somebody innocent. Do you have a kid or something? It's strange. This woman has put me through hell, treated me like a lab rat, and more, and yet, somehow, I think she's telling the truth. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you do trust me. You'll see tomorrow that I'm going along with Violet's plan either way. I'll trust you, Kent. I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. Don't be. I literally shot you. I think that earns you the right to be angry and more, no? Wouldn't I have a scar from that? How did I get rid of that? We've... Well, I've gotten to know you over these past years. Not for more than a couple weeks straight, but I got to know you. And I think you're rude and manipulative and have no problem lying to my face. Hey, can we skip to the part where you compliment me? You're also incredibly crass, you keep secrets from everybody, and... Yeah, this still doesn't sound like the compliment part. You finished? But I don't think you're a bad person. Every time the show ran, you always talked to me, to make me feel like I wasn't alone. And you made sure I never lost hope. I know that was never part of the job, you didn't have to do that. Yet you did it, over and over. It must have been so tiring to do that, over and over, full well knowing that we were doomed. I don't know why you're doing all this, but I believe that you do care about helping people. I'm flattered, T. But you've got me wrong. What do you mean? Everything I've ever done for you, the others, it's been for my own selfish reasons. It just happens to line up nicely. Though I appreciate the compliment, unlike before, I couldn't tell if she was telling the truth. We went on our separate ways shortly after. I spent the rest of the night helping the others with preparing for the plan. I was exhausted, and I went back to my room, but I still can't fall asleep for several hours. 
It's as if something's on the tip of my tongue, but I just barely can, but I just barely can grasp it, or can't grasp it. Yet somehow, I know I'm closer than I've ever been. And, well, I'm gonna end this part there, because it's about all the time I have for that. Uh, let me save though, because I'm not going through all that again. Yeah, so for right one, then backup save, just in case. Alright. Then the third save slot I have in case I do other endings, but anyway... Well, I'm assuming that's a branching off point, I might have to start the game all over. I have no idea. But anyway, goodbye for now.